With the success of games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band, it's hard to imagine when the guitar has ever been more popular. At Reading Fleming Intermediate School, educators have succeeded in turning that popularity into part of a successful music curriculum that's about more than just playing an instrument. It is a part of our popular culture. You cannot go to a department store without seeing a guitar on a t-shirt, a guitar in a television commercial, and I really felt that the program sells itself. The students are attracted to the instrument. It's a very diverse instrument. You can play a variety of styles of music. You can play rock, blues, jazz, classical. It's really endless. In any of our classrooms, the teachers have tools to use. Example, in a reading classroom, you have books. You have your writing you know, utensils and all of those pieces. In the general music class, we've had our voices. So what we did, we took a look at taking in general music class and using a different tool, the tool being the guitar. As part of the general curriculum, every student in the school gets a chance to study and play the guitar. It's a program for everybody. Everybody in the class has an opportunity to explore a musical instrument. See your thumb, take your thumb on your left hand. If you can bring your thumb down a little bit of your left hand, it's easier to make that shift. Excellent, keep going. Um, I was really excited because since I've never done it before at school, and that I was kind of excited because my dad plays and I kind of want to learn too. actually jumping for joy. Um, I've always wanted to play guitar my whole life. It's fun like when my par my friends are like playing Guitar Hero and I I can show off like actually play while they're just looking like In fifth grade, we start the students off with the very basics. We teach them parts of the guitar. We teach them twinkle, twinkle, little star. We teach them seating position. Gradually, uh, we add note reading. In sixth grade, I like to combine the guitar with their other subjects that they have here. For example, uh, we have a class where we combine music and the environment, which relates to what they're doing in science class. I have an Egyptian music lesson plan, which again relates the guitar to what they're doing in their social studies class. Students are also introduced to the history and culture surrounding the guitar and its relatives, such as the ukulele. This works just like the guitar tablature. The bottom line represents the string that's closest to your nose. The top line represents the string that's closest to your toes. We have a lot of fun in here because we laugh a lot and we're really good friends, all of us. Can I have everybody hula for half of a second? <laughs> One, two, ready, and... I don't know, it just gives you like this excited feeling every time, learning new songs, the, the beautiful melodies that come out of the guitar, so many cool things. One, two, ready, and... But the whole idea of it is try new things experiment with them, uh, express yourself through them, build a little confidence, build a little bit of awareness of something else. You don't have to be a musician, but if you take this, you've experimented with it, you went out on a limb, you've, you've learned, you've tasted, you've listened, you've learned to read music, and you've got to feel the music, it just makes you more aware overall of the world around you, and how to be a learner. The most rewarding part about this program for me is knowing that at our local high school, close to 4,000 students have had an opportunity to try a musical instrument, to play a few songs, and to really give it a chance to see if it's something that they want to pursue further. <laughs>